Hey guys, Clone Wars, and today we'll be doing a deck profile on the one and the only Blue Eyes White Dragons. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I know I haven't posted a video in a very long time, but that's because I've been trying to get this deck ready, and right now, actually in the process of getting a blue eye not blue eyes red eyes deck profile up for you here pretty soon because uh, i just ordered all the cards that i needed for blue red eyes uh for the competitive format yes i have been played testing these decks these de decks are actually fun fine fun and fine um i know it's like right before the ban list hits but if the ban list hits then you're pretty much just gonna take the cards out and probably not gonna replace them so let's get into it uh, we'll start off with the main deck first as always we'll start off with the three blue eyes white dragons we have the one from my girlfriend the uh, SKE I think it's like special Kaibo edition SDK blue eyes white dragon and the blue eyes white dragon for the movie pack my three favorite blue eyes white dragons then we have the triple alternative dragon you reveal one of the old bad boys and then you special summon him from hand. Uh, if he is not special summoned from hand, and like say they negate the special summon and he goes to the graveyard, you cannot special summon him with Return of the Dragon Lord. So you gotta get, it, so you either gotta get him back to your hand and reveal him and special summon him that way, or well, then you just don't mess around with him. That's that's basically it. You're, he's done. But he's a uh, he's a level eight 3k beater, and he, once per turn he can pop a monster, but he can't attack, which you know balances him out. Uh, Double Dragon Spirit of White, thanks my best buddy for that one. <clears throat> Double Dragon Spirit of White, he's basically a Cosmic Cyclone without the thousand point cost, and he can trade out for Blue Eyes White Dragon. So say they have a I don't know Dark Magician out, and they can just attack this without the Dark Magician getting destroyed. Then you can just trade it out for the blue eyes, and then the Dark Magician gets destroyed because he'll take 500 damage. Um, oh, and he's always treated as a blue eyes monster, which will be turned into play later on. Which will come into play later on. The most expensive card in this deck. You would think it'd be alternative, but no, it's uh, Triple Sage. Sage with the eyes of blue, people, I'm telling you. Um... You can activate these effects once per turn, but you can activate both of them. Um, when this card is normal summoned, you can uh, ew, you can search for a level one light tuner besides Sage, and you can also and then you can uh, discard this card, target one effect monster on the field, uh, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon a blue eyes monster from the deck. Um, I did not read that off the card; I just know the effect from heart. Um, it's, it's a pretty good effect. Uh, is it worth $20? Eh, it's up to you. Uh, a lot of people think I'm, well, not crazy, but, well, probably second guess this, uh, one maiden. Um, just because it could be an instant rank 8 play, it could be an instant f fusion play? Not fusion. Instant synchro play. I got a brain fart there, but it could be an instant fusion or a synchro play if you play this card right. And I do, because I know how to use it. Now this, now these, the next three cards are kind of controversial. And then the last monster is kind of controversial too. Uh, Master. Um, I like to see, because you can, I run Foolish Burial instead of Dragon Shrine. So I can Foolish Burial Sage, um, then Normal Summon him. If, if I have him in hand, the Normal Summon him. Get the Sage back to my hand, because when he's Normal Summoned, you can add one... One level one light tuner back from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, also, he's kind of a monster reborn. I mean, not monster reborn. He's kind of like a Silver's Cry. He's kind of like he does the opposite of Sage, from except from the graveyard. He does the same thing as Sage except from the graveyard, except he gets shuffled into the deck. Um, but you can play him, normal summon him, get Sage back to your hand. Discard Sage, put him in the graveyard, and then if you, say, summon another effect monster such as Protector, and you have a Blue Eyes in the graveyard, you can shuffle uh, Master back into the deck, and then you can send this to the graveyard, and 
you have blue eyes on the field. Now, next, as we can see, is Protector. Protector without his blue's effect is that when um, this card is normal summoning, especially summon another level 1 light tuner. Um, he's kind of like a Kaiba Man, except he's a blue eyes in general. He's, so he's basically a Kaiba Man, except he can target any effect monster on the field. So say if they're burning you with Lava Golem, you can summon this. Uh, sacrifice the Lava Golem, special summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon, or Blue Eyes whatever from your hand, uh, and then Synchro. So, he, he, they say, he, yes, I will admit he is the worser end of the Blue Eyes support, but I, I give him credit. He, 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 he unbricks my hands. Now, here we go. This used to be the most expensive card. This card actually jumped up to $30. Then I got the common reprint. I have the common reprint because I'm not paying $6 for the hollows. That is the White Stone of Ancients. Two bucks. Besides the point. The White Stone of Ancients is probably one of the greatest cards in this deck. Because if, say, this card is in your graveyard and the and the special summon of alternative was negated, you can banish this card from your graveyard and add the blue, blue eyes alternative white dragon back from your deck from your graveyard to your hand, and then, yeah. But this card is, if, uh, if it was sent to the graveyard this turn, at the end phase, you can special summon one blue eyes monster from your deck, but basically the same thing as Sage, except a lot slower. And it can only be, act and one of these effects can be activated once per turn. Sage is a little more versatile, as in he can do it anytime he wants. Um, one white stone legend. Yeah, look at that. Look at that shininess. Look at that. It's expensive shininess. Got it for my birthday. Anyway, it's not the point. Um, the White Stone Legend. Uh, it's a searcher. I, I love it. It doesn't even say effect on it, which is... It makes it more unique. Rider of the Storm Winds. Ah! And if you look very, very closely, this card is very controversial, too. If you look very closely, that's Sage. That's besides the point. So... If you guys own a copy of Rider of the Stormwinds, you're going to look at it and be like, Oh my god, that's Sage with Eyes of Blue. Uh, this card does piercing damage and, it's kind of, and it kind of has a Return of the Dragon Lord's effect. Whereas if the card it is, if the card it is equipped to would be destroyed, uh, destroy this card instead. Um, except it has to be a normal monster. So only any of the vanilla Blue Eyes is. You can't do the, uh, the Dragon Spirit of White because Dragon Spirit of White is... Only normal one in the graveyard or in the hand. I play one Silver's Cry. Look at that. Super rare too. It's only about four bucks. But Silver's Cry, uh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory if you know what Silver's Cry is. Oh, God. The card that everybody at first thought was so very controversial that everybody wanted to ban. Or hate. And now that uh, ABCs are kind of a thing. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I have the structure deck right there. Now that ABCs are kind of a thing, nobody's talking about it. Return of the Dargan Lords. Yes, Dargans. Uh, basically, you can special summon any of the Blue Eyes monsters. So, Blue Eyes White Dragons, the Alternatives, and the Dragon Spirit is White from your graveyard. And if you do that, and this card is in your graveyard, a lot of people play DD Crow because of this card, but that's not the point. And say they try to regeki your whole field, banish this card, and nothing happens. This card is protection. They say that is a monster reborn, but that is false because monster reborn can revive a card from either player's graveyard. I just mind blown you. Boom! One soul charge. That's pretty sad. It's pretty much a win condition for this deck. I will be honest. When I first started playing this deck, right when you guys saw the first deck profile, I saw this card and I thought this card was pretty stupid. Now that it had pretty much everything, Sage. Masters, Dragon Spirits of White. Um, this card is pretty broken in this deck, so please play one of them. You can only play one, so I suggest you play one of them. This card, I recommend you play three. Um, a lot of people... Oh, this, this card's kind of controversial. A lot of people play two, a lot of people play one, a lot of people play three, a lot of people play none. This card is kind of a hit or miss. Uh... It can search out your alternative and your regular blue eyes, so that way you get first turn alternative plays, or at least try to. Uh, a lot of the times I actually draw two of these cards in my first hand, and then I just discard both of them for the one. 
<laughs> I was like, well, I'm not really going to need the other effect, so whatever. And eventually we're not targets, so. Um, triple trade in. And I'm kind of happy. Uh, I'm not going to shove it in your face this time. But Destiny Soldiers, um, they came out with super rare versions of this. I have the super rare versions of it. So they're about a dollar. Please, if you guys run Blue Eyes or any level 8 decks, please pick up the super rare trade ins if you only run commons. They. I mean, it only the only things that are actually hollow are these coins, the dragon, and that candle. But it just looks so much nicer than the commons. Uh, so please, 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 please pick pick these up. Their Destiny Soldiers are about a buck on Amazon. Um, I'm about to get a Destiny Soldiers box, so I really don't need to worry about that, especially with allures in there. I'll have, I should have a play set of allures if I go through it. Um, one card of Connaissance. Um... This card, one dragon type tuner. That's why. That's kind of why Ryder's in there because Ryder is a target. But if I do have blue eyes on the field, it's extra protection for that blue eyes, and it can pierce. So if you're playing against, I don't know, an Egyptian god deck, then you know Ryder of the Stormwind is kind of good because they play a lot of cards that you know you'd probably want to regeki, but not. Where are that? Um, you'd be surprised. I use this a lot more than you think. Um. And a lot of people don't actually really think of this card, but where art thou? Uh, if you have a level 1 tuner, uh, a level 1 monster in general on the field, you can search a level 1 monster from your deck. Uh, and if you do, and if you don't play the monster that turn, a lot of times I search out Sage. Uh, but if you don't play the monster, you take 2k. So usually I'm taking 2k because I discarded to play Blue Eyes. Um, but, you know, it's 2k for a search, so it's not that bad. It, it, overall, it's not that bad. Um, I play the double mausoleum plus the terra. Terraforming is, is, is it's kind of generic, so that way I'm not that's why I'm not putting it as its own card. Um, but it can it can help you with your maiden plays, so you can make your maiden synchro plays. Because if I didn't explain it, but if because she's been out forever, but if she's targeted um, by anything targeted. She can negate the target and um, special summon a blue eyes white dragon. So th this card targets a tuner or targets whatever and uh, gives it. Well, basically you'll give it 800 attack because they're probably going to be sending a blue eyes to the deck graveyard to the deck. So yeah, and then I have the terraform and just search it out. I like I like the two one. I'm doing the same thing in red eyes. It'll be double Kalos field and one terra. I'm doing the same thing in red. Eyes. I just said that, but I'm doing the same thing in red eyes. Uh, plus, uh, I don't play Burst Dream, but if you play Burst Dream, you can banish this card, search a Burst Dream. One Claw Hermos, because I can make Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword, because all the targets are, because most of the targets are dragons. Plus, it gets a dragon in the graveyard, so. It's a win win! Odd Eyes Fusion, because I play Ultimate, and. Sometimes I have a Brick Hand, and I can have double blue eyes, and then a bunch of spells. Sometimes that spell is out of fusion, and I can make Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. So, suck it. Double Twin Twister. Uh, funny story about one of these, one of them. I ordered one off Amazon a long time ago, thinking, ah, I'll just play one Twin and one MST, and then I found that Double Twin was more consistent, and I didn't want to put $12 in for another Twin. And then during Christmas, I opened one of the tins, and I got another one for MP16. So these are double MP16 Twin Twisters. And these are the only Twin Twisters I own. And in the future, I'm going to be like, Kids, there are common versions of this now, but I had the first ever ones to come out. I don't, I don't even know why that card's not coming. Uh, the one Foolish sent any... Uh, I already talked about the combo plays with that. Dragon Shrine uh, is basically Foolish, but for dragons... Uh, if you, but if you send a normal and or Dragon Spirit of White, because once he hits the graveyard, he is technically a normal, you can send another dragon to the graveyard. And then for our traps, I play one Bottomless Trap Hole and one Vanity's Emptiness. I play a 44-card deck. This card, this deck is very versatile, so you can make this a 40-card deck if you want to. Now, on to our extra deck. I play double blue Eye Spirit Dragons. Now... This card can only be synchroed using a blue eyes monster. And that is why Dragon Spirit of White was important at that time when I said he will be a blue eyes monster. 
Um, but basically, this card stops Pendulum Summoning because you can only special summon one monster at a time. So it kind of negates the effect of Soul Charge too. But usually, you're making him because of Soul Charge. You're making him as of Soul Charge. You're making him after you play Soul Charge. That's what I'm trying to say. Most of the time. He can negate a graveyard effect once per turn. So say you're mirror matching and you're trying to, I don't know, destroy a dragon spirit of white with blue eyes. And they try to negate the attack by banishing Return of the Dragon Lords. You can negate the effect using blue eyes spirit dragon's effect. And the card would be destroyed. And I think, and you can also trade him out for another light dragon type monster. Uh, light dragon type synchro monster. Um. During either player's turn, and I sh and I and I and I have targets for those, tons of targets. As of Azure Eyes, girlfriend's Azure Eyes, boom! Yes, I keep it in different sleeves. But uh, Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, one of the first ever supports for Blue Eyes, as of the 5Ds era, because 5Ds had the uh, synchros come out. So yeah, as of the 5Ds, I had uh, these. Uh, basically. Um, it, it it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, it protect, protects dragons the turn is summoned and your opponent's turn from either destruction or being... I think it's... Dragon-type monsters you currently control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects until the end of the next turn. And once per turn during the standby phase, he can return a, uh, a normal dragon-type monster. So he's a... A normal, dra a normal type monster, so... Blue Eyes and Dragon Spirit of White because in the graveyard he is a normal type monster. So, combo plays. Combo, 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 combo. Now, this is the card I would mainly go into if I just don't want to deal with something. It's uh, Michael. Pay 1k, banish. It's pretty self explanatory. Uh, I'm seriously thinking about trading this out for Moonlight Rose because Moonlight Rose is just really effective, but Stardust Spark. Uh, so yeah, just take that with a grain of salt. Um, for our Xyz engine, I run one number 38 Galaxy Eyes. Galaxy Eyes. Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Jesus Christ. He's a rank 8. He, uh, once per turn, he can negate a spell or card effect and then attach it to him. And then once... I think if a card would be attacked, you can detach and have the attack go to him instead of whatever else. The only problem I have with this card is its rarity. It's a gold secret. I don't like gold. But I deal with it because it's such a great card. Uh, for my Galaxy Engine, I run... I actually run only two. Galaxy Eyes Cypher. Uh, and Galaxy Eyes Full Armor. Uh, they're either pretty self-explanatory, but I'll explain what this card does. Uh, you can detach. Uh, the card... You can steal one of your opponent's cards... And if it is an Xyz monster, you can actually, because its name would be considered Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, you can overlay it with Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon, so you could still have Cypher on the field and Full Armor Photon. That's a great combo play. Uh, probably worked the best against Red Eyes, because Red Eyes kind of focuses out on getting their... As much as they focus on getting out their fusions, they also really focus on getting out their Xyz as fast as possible. But, uh, yeah... This is my Galaxy Eyes engine. These are pretty cheap cards. Well, this one's cheaper than this one. This one's about six bucks, but this one's about two, not even. So, yeah. And then one Lancelot because sometimes they just establish a board and you're like, nah. Hit him for 2k and you win. Plus, if any card would be activated, he has to negate it. Uh, for my fusion engine. Yes, I run all three extra deck types. Well, there's Xyz Pendulum, Fusion Pendulum, and Synchro Pendulum now. But not the point. I run one Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Again, Gold Rare, but my aunt got it for me, so... Double Neo. That's the reason I run this one, instead of... Because Nostalgia. I mean, you could run triple of these. But, if this card is the only face-up card on the field, you can discard up to two Blue-Eyes Fusion-type monsters. And it can make three attacks, hence the three heads. But if this card is in the graveyard and a Blue-Eyes monster would be targeted, it... 
This card would be so much better if it was like a Return of the Dragon Lords in the graveyard. But it's just if it's targeted by like a card effect, then you can banish this and negate. Excuse me. I just think it'd be so much more better. I mean, I have a fusion build. If you guys really want to see the fusion build, let me know, and I will post a fusion build um, that mainly focuses on getting out the fusions, the blue eyes fusions first turn. But this card's just good for its attacking OTK. I mean, I have OTK'd with this on occasion, uh, but you know, it's okay. It's a pretty good card. Uh, one blue eyes twin burst is pretty self-explanatory. It can attack twice. Well, it can only attack monsters twice. Um, and if it can't destroy anything, it banishes it. So, pretty good card. Oh, and it, it's a it's a contact fuse it as well. Uh, last card is red eyes black dragon sword. Uh, it's kind of like Buster Blader's effect. It's like a Buster Blader and uh, what's it called? Blue eyes spear dragon's effect. Spirit Dragon. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon's effect. Um, the card automatically gains a thousand. So whatever it's equipped to automatically gains a thousand. So say if you equipped it to him, he'd be automatically four thousand. And for each dragon type monster in the field or in the graveyard, he gains five hundred. So you could easily, easily get Blue Eyes to six thousand damage. You could easily double Blue Eyes' damage with this card. So yeah, that's why you play Claw Hermos. Uh, it's not necessary, but it's kind of nice. Uh, so yeah, that is the deck profile for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Please, please, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I have been putting a lot of time and effort into this deck. My girlfriend probably hates me because of it, but <sighs> this is it. This is literally the finished product. There is nothing more as of 2016 or the beginning of 2017 coming out that would make me change this build at all. Um, my friends will learn this build and they will learn that, well, you can negate Return of the Dragon Lodge pretty easily. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have sunk a lot of time, money, and effort into this video. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I know I haven't posted in like forever, but... That's a lot of personal problems, a lot of stones. Uh, you'd get that if if, if you have kidneys. <clears throat> That's besides the point. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.